What a productive day. Ah, what a day. See my friend uh, Myrtle, the geese who's been coming by my office and laying eggs for the past four years. And that's her bow up there, Marvin. So we have Marvin and Myrtle. And uh, we got to go away. I guess it's time to stay safe and get back indoors in the house. You know, lately uh, I'm coming out here on the motorcycle and I'm thinking about uh, uh, some of the conversations that are going on on the forums, Facebook uh, and on the motorcycle specific forums like the Goldwing forums and the motorcycle forums and uh, a lot of the conversation centers around should you be out on a motorcycle now is it a safe thing is it smart is it selfish to uh, want to take a ride uh, considering you know nobody wants to have a get off I certainly don't here I I'm f I feel uncomfortable talking about a get off while while riding my motorcycle but nobody wants to have one and that's reality you know and uh would i be selfish would i be taking up first responder services and an ambulance and hopefully not a hospital bed a and the answer is yeah i would i don't know about you guys but for me it, it's not the staying in it's the having to stay in that that probably disturbs me the most could I stay in for a week eh, I guess I could do I want to no uh, if I was told I had to would probably be the bigger problem than if I had stayed in on my own not that I would you see how crazy it gets <laughs> and if you're watching the news like most I mean, I, I try not to watch it as much because it's so depressing. Oh, especially here in New York and New Jersey and now Connecticut, they, they're getting their fair share. You don't want this mother rolling through your town because it takes no prisoners. I mean, allow me to just share this with you guys. I live in Queens and I know of personally know of no fewer than seven people that have passed away in the last three weeks and they are of all ages I know mother daughters who have passed away I know uncles I know mother and sons who have passed away within weeks of each other from coronavirus and countless many who may be infected hell we may all be infected or were infected at one point is what we are learning so stay in if you can if you can't follow the guidelines it's, it's just that simple I want to be in no do I want to be alive hell yes so I will take precautions hopefully you guys are making the best of your time while you're in in other words, what are you watching on Netflix? How many series have you gone through? <laughs> now myself, I'm not a series watching kind of guy or person. But lately, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about jumping in. Yeah. You got to turn away from the news if you want to keep your sanity or what little you have left. So Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, I don't know, the Disney Plus, <laughs> there are a million of them. Getting a little light rain here and, ah, it does feel good.
And I'm rolling along in tour mode, so it ain't that bad. Smooth throttle inputs. Still have that horsepower and torque available in tour mode. I like that when I'm on the highway. Don't like giving that up unless I have to. If I have to go into rain mode, I will. But I'd rather not. Because uh, these motors out here, I don't know if you notice, these guys, they ride with a sense of urgency. <laughs> and I can't fault them because I'm one of them. <laughs> you ride it and you move like you got somewhere to go. What you do when you get there, that might be another story. Yeah. I love my morning commutes. Love seeing the, the change in, in the colors in the sky as I navigate towards my workplace. It's nothing like waking up or having the sky open up. And when I say open up, I don't mean rain. <laughs> it's nothing like seeing a sunrise on the seat of a motorcycle. Oh, it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Well, I'm curious what this week this week will bring. Will it be more of the same? Will things get a little better? Will things get worse? If you are to the uh, if you are to believe Andrew Cuomo here in New York, it's supposed to get a lot worse. If you are to believe your eyes, it is getting worse. Yep, it's getting worse. What are they saying? It, it, it's going to peak this week. Or they hope that it will peak. The number of those reported cases and the number of deaths should peak. Well, I say, let it peak if we have to get over this hurdle. I'd rather that happen sooner than later. People love to have something or some hope to look forward to, some light at the end of the tunnel. Well, I guess this morning, this April 6th, I have to settle for this light. I'll take it. Another day above ground. Another day pushing this wing. I will take it. Well, I hope we are learning from what's going on here in the tri-state area and the rest of the country is preparing themselves because this shit storm is coming. And this is an enemy you may not be able to see. Do your best to stay healthy. Keep your families healthy. You stay healthy for your families. Stay in. That's it. Thanks for coming along for the commute. As you may know, this is my stop. And I am GB winging it. And every day I come over here and I see a, a a rabbit and I'm, I'm gonna hope uh, I hope that I get to show you guys 
Where are you? Oh, maybe not today. No rabbit today? Oh. Well, I'm still GB winging it, and I am out.